Okay, Monday morning in the kingdom, and it's warm out here. Yes, it's warm. Only minus 8 Celsius this morning, but feels like minus 14. Yes, it's warm. And then on the OU scale, plus 18 Fahrenheit. See, I told you, but feels like plus 7. Ooh, chilly. I wouldn't want to be wearing my Speedos. All right. Today, Amazon, or the next five days, Okay, Amazon has my seventh book of the Winter Road series, Never Give Up. It's free from April 1st to the 5th. Five days on Amazon, four days on Sesame Street. And it's no joke. Yes, April Fools. Yes. So please enjoy the book. And link in the end screen or in the descriptions. Yeah, it'll be in the descriptions. Yeah, I'm learning all about this. All right. So today... As you can see, April Fools. Yeah, I live outside of Whoville. What a joke. All right. So today, we're going to talk about my memory. Look at this. That's my memory. I write it on everything. It says yellow paint marker. Yes. I write on everything so I remember. And then when I'm dead and gone, people know what it is. Yeah. Because how many people are going to know that that's a Beach 18 up there on the on the uh, tank shed there you know that was underwater for 45 years and we salvaged it yeah so if we don't write these things down who's gonna know yes all right let's see if we can get that the me phone out it is a holiday monday in the kingdom but don't tell the boss yes just like my parents it's a union holiday monday yes all right so here we go we got some sun over here, notice it's getting farther and farther that way because we're getting longer and longer days. Yes. And then we'll scroll this way. We we're supposed to get snow, but we don't know where it is. It was all lies like my marriage. Yes. And here we go. The stove was stone cold dead. We had to start a fresh fire for the Swedish kid. Oh, accelerants were used. And then back over here, we have a slight breeze. Look at the flags go. I can't wait for the for us to have freedom and be able to take the me phone out and we can wander around and be on location to talk and everything like that. But it censors me all the time. Well, I better go. I think the boss is coming. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and I got really nothing to show for this morning. But today is our Sunday, so I have to do the dog blankets and everything like that. Clean the vacuum and everything. I forgot the video, the vacuum cleaner. But hopefully everybody remembers what it looks like because you've seen it every Sunday for the last three years. Yes, it's almost three years since we've gone live. All right, so over here, all I got to show for this morning is hooking up the block heater. Yes, the block heater. I mounted it, okay. And... This is now the drain for the radiator. Yes, down there. And it is plugged off or blocked off with a plug down there. Okay, the reason why that is because of the drain plug over here in the rad, it's under this plate here, all right, is kind of malfunctioned. So it's kind of jimmy rig plugged, blocked off and everything like that. There's no sense getting fancy trying to fix it because as soon as I fix that, this patch here from the 1950s or 60s will probably leak. So, uh, if it ain't broke, why fix it? All right. So, we got this all tidied up. It's looking good. We tie-strapped all the wires back and having the distributor out of the way and a bunch of other stuff really cleaned up this side of the motor. We have everything done up. Okay. Oh, and over here, that's a bag full of fuses. So, it's easier to reach under the hood and grab the fuses there in case we pop a fuse for the lights or the electric fuel pump. All right, let's go burn some lunch because we're going to have bacon and eggs because it's our holiday Monday is our Sunday. Okay, just about coffee time in the kingdom and I got the hood back on and I also put the antifreeze in the motor so then we know if it's leaking, but it's not leaking. I don't see any leaks anywhere yet. So I'll just wait. After I've done this video, it'll probably start leaking. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but the hood's been burnt. Okay, I don't know if they used it for a barbecue pit or something, but that's the hood that came with the machine, so we have to live with it. So over here, oh, we got to show this here. I did some welds here. We put some washers in where there was uh, broken out, but we left this and we didn't buff it clean or smooth because somebody did an arc weld on that to fix the repairs back in the day, and I figured that's history right there. So the guy did pretty good with the arc welder and lots of splatter, so I say it would be AC current. All right, over here, I'm trying to walk and talk or back up and talk. Seems how we have no gas side on this uh, or gas on this motor now. We filled in the uh, gas tank hole just like on the other one. Also, too, 
when you run the big pipes oh that sun is bright okay when you run the big pipes up here well, we only have the whole small problem down here so this just attracts the wa rainwater and everything plus the hood was always concaved in or dished that's a big word concaved we'll just use the word dish today because it's monday and i watch sesame street so i beat it on the hood let's see you can see this the nick marks from the hammer but i had to put kinks in the sheet metal to give it strength because after it's burnt it has no how would you say returnability or strength or whatever so right now we're cutting plates to go over here all right let's we'll go to the workbench okay the best thing to do is to use a hood off of a caterpillar uh, and you can see the little hole in the hood for the pup motor so the pup motor would exhaust would come out there so that's the best thing to do is find something that's beat up bent and crooked or i don't know if we can see it but we're cutting the plates right here for covering in that hole so we'll have two bolt-on plates on each side of the exhaust stack hopefully that'll keep the rainwater and the snow from going out and landing right on the injectors and the injector cups no wonder they won't come apart after 20 years all right let's go finish let's go have a coffee make sure the me phone is charged up because that's what happened after lunch it was in my pocket recording again so it killed the battery all right let's go have some coffee and relax and then we'll come back and get these plates on okay just before coffee i finished up the hood there actually it was a late coffee and it's getting nasty out let's see if we can walk and talk at the same time and climb the step stool yeah it's the older you get the more steps you step stools you have hiding around the yard or the house or the shop and also glasses yes no not the beverage glasses glasses to read and see so we covered it in a little hole and i think this turned out pretty good because well what else am i supposed to do if i start welding on this hood it's going to get all wowie and wonky and look like a roller coaster or a motocross track i think we better call it good and be pleased with what we have here let's go see what we did outside oh me again we just have to check the oils and the fluids and everything in the morning and we have the batteries right there so we just have to install those lube them up and call them good and hopefully the cat will start but we were planning on taking it out today but it's just too nasty outside okay i dragged out the 46 chevy three two ton i mean two ton yes i'm not sure if the me phone recorded it if the me phone recorded it it'll be after this here
Okay, not sure if we actually got to see the mini hoe drag this out, but we had to make a management decision. Okay, this is a 46 Chevy truck. It came from Ilford, Manitoba, and we've had it since 2003. We've put a lot of money in, into it, and we have a lot more money and parts sitting in the shop or the house to go on this truck. As you can see, the new springs, it needs the tie rods and all that kind of stuff, the drag link, that's all in the house, okay? And over here, and one of the reasons why it's going in the shop is because it is the same as the 40, I mean the 38 Maple Leaf. There's the automatic transmission. So if I'm making park brake uh, uh, bracket trees over here and stuff over here, let's do one truck, let's do both trucks at the same time because we also have a problem with the lens can't go in the shop. We're kind of running out of things to do. We have lots of stuff we can do outside because the weather's going to turn nice here. Plus the fact having this truck back together, that means we can haul water because the last two years we've had the black water tank sitting on the trailer, which we have to unload, reload, reload, and unload, and everything like that. So having this truck up and running, it'll make it a lot easier. See, we even got new tires. We have a lot of new stuff. Yes. And even have the springs on the back all fixed. We have the new pins and stuff for in here. So this will be a labor intensive project in the shop as we enjoy this nasty weather. Okay, in theory, we should be putting a Lynn tractor in the shop, but one, there's not quite enough room, and two, we don't have any snow. So, it is snowing here, but it's more like rain, so this is going to drop our snow base on our cat train trails, and we need snow for the skis, because all we do is hit one little rock, and it'll shear off that steering box again. Yes, we've done it on both Lynn's, because there's not enough snow, so we're going to have to make a management decision. We'll put the 46 Chevy in the, in the shop so we can keep working. The TD teens will be out and then hopefully we can do a four sleigh pull with the TD 18s and maybe a camping trip and maybe if we do get some snow we can take the lens out. Yes I know it's disappointing but last year the lens had most of the film time and the cats got nothing but this year is the year of 2024 it's the year of the thermostats on the IH cats. Okay, so after I pulled the 46 Chevy out, I came down here in the mini hoe to hide out of the wind. Yes, the nasty wind. Okay, another thing here, this is our south trail, and we have a nice snow base on it. And we don't want to come down here with the loader with the forks or the trailers or anything like that and start grabbing wood. So what we're going to have to do is utilize the skidoo and the toboggan. Yes, the skidoo, the Polaris skidoo. So what I've done here, oh, gotten windy. Is I look like a miner. Yes, I'm mining. This is all drill core. We're mining it. Yeah, it's mining in Lynn Lake. It's finally taken. Oh, did I say that? Mining in Whoville is taken off. So what I'm doing is reaching down with the mini hoe and the uh, artificial thumb on the end there. And I'm using the snow bank to, how would you say, shake the dirt and the core out of the boxes. Now the staff can just come along here. She can come from the south trail and skidoo right past here. Park the toboggan here and then hand bomb this stuff in. That way we're not making a mess and creating any, how would you say, disturbing our snow base because we're hoping for a good snow and then we can have some fun. Like we worked on these trails to get some good film footage to document the cat trains. I tried to go in there, but I can't get in there. So if I can't get in there with the mini hoe, how's the staff going to get in there with the skidoo? So this worked out good. I was able to make a management decision to do it this way. And if I get around to making my hydraulic thumb to go with the mini ho it would work a lot better so there we go mining in whoville mineral exploration going after the core boxes yes yeah, so true we're having fun but as you can see this is what 12 feet deep actually and we figure there's 10 years worth of wood here between the kingdom and the staff's house in whoville but the stuff burns nice and we're finding out with cleaning up the yard and getting these freshly harvested trees uh, this stuff burns very nice. And this is also what we've heated the shop and everything for the last 10 years, I, I, could, I should say. All right, let's get back to work. Monday morning in Whoville, it's almost 8.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. As you can see, we have a bit of a sunrise, but there is some clouds out. It is pretty warm as well, so maybe we'll get some more snow. Now it's time to head inside with the dogs back in and get to work. 12 30 and i just finished up lunch i had soup and a sandwich because i'm not feeling the greatest i will be teaching grade two for the rest of the month here until their new teacher comes in may now it's time to head inside let the dogs back in and get to work 
4 p.m. and I just made it home from work. It was a pretty good afternoon. I just got everything ready for the grade two class. They start school tomorrow and then on Friday we have a fishing derby, so that should be fun. The whole school gets to go out onto the lake and go fishing. Hopefully the weather clears up because right now it's pretty windy and it was snowing earlier. Kind of looks like there's a storm coming again. Now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out. 5 p.m. and as you can see it's pretty nasty out here today so I'm not going over to the kingdom. My dad has enough stuff to do in the shop to last him until tomorrow. Plus it is my little helper's birthday tomorrow so we'll be going over to the kingdom to do a few things as well. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out and do the weather. 5.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 0 degrees Celsius which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been on and off snowing all day today. As you can see it's still snowing now and it's getting pretty nasty out and it's really windy. Now it's time to head inside, finish up my course, make supper and end my day. Okay, due to the rotation of the earth, the weather and everything else, uh, we're going to have to add some video from what we did in the past, which is not the past. If you're watching it now, it can be delayed. I don't know. I better go have a drink. Okay, I'm done my 10th book in my Winter Road series. Took a while to write. It was hard to write the book back in July when it was like plus 42, forest fire around Whoville here. And you're sitting there sweating and dripping when you're trying to write a book about freezing to death. Okay, but the book is done. I handed it over to Amazon, so they're loading it up. And the cover of the book is the green toy. This was from Shiloh, Manitoba. It was part of my wasted youth, and now it's back in the kingdom. So you gotta watch what you do back in your wasted youth. It comes back to catch up to you. All right, now I'm gonna go walk the dogs and celebrate with some vodka. Talk to you later. Well, it's been over five weeks since we worked on the cat. The parts came a while ago from Sir Rodney at West Trans. He had Dr. Evil laser cut to pieces. So we're using the mini hoe to hold up the clutch. And the clutch is going back in now because I'm done working in the house. I got my 20th book, which is the 10th book on the Winter Road series on Amazon. They accepted it. So now I can take a little break and get this cat back together before we get really busy. All right, more to come. Well, that was great fun, but I got it to fit in there. It's pretty tricky with everything in. It's a tight fit, but Caterpillar, that's the way they want it. But, well, this is 1952, so it was modern technology back then. But it was a struggle for me at my age. But I had the mini hoe. Well, we got to quit early today, but we're done with the mini hoe inside the shop here. So now the staff can go out and clean the snow off the sidewalk. But we got everything in where the clutch belongs. And we have to let the gasket goo dry up or whatever before we start adding oil or playing anymore in case I made a mistake. It's not the first time in my life. Oh, well. So now I got to go write my book. I got, We're starting on my 21st book called, uh, oh, geez, I can't think of the title. Oh well, but I'll think of it. All right, talk to you later. Well, the joys of being a famous five-star Amazon author is I write stories about getting screwed by winter road truckers. So we had a lowball firm call me up this morning and wanted a tire remounted on their trailer. So I told them how to come to the kingdom and everything. I walked outside dressed in my winter clothes and they never arrived. So two hours later of my life, well wasted like my honeymoon, I guess I'm going to give up waiting for them to drive through the driveway. But I got a story from my 11th book on winter roads. Thank you. Okay, I stocked up the wood stove because it's kind of warm. It's raining out here. This is so depressing like my marriage is. Unreal. Oh, well, let's have a cheery thought here. Look at the plane we salvaged and look at the flags. They're getting a nice workout today in this wind. Yes. All right. Let's go drink some beer, make a video and walk the dogs. Oh, maybe walk the dogs first and then we'll do drink the beer, make a video and we'll talk to you later.